Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy XBeep826 here, and today I will be showing you guys how to properly loop your custom music. Now the reason why I'm doing this tutorial is because I noticed that a lot of them just told you to eyeball it, which is obviously not good enough, so I figured I should show you guys my method on how to do mines, and you'll probably want your, your custom music to sound something like this. And as you guys can see, that was perfectly looped. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna get straight to the point. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Audacity. And make sure you're using Audacity 3.0 because that's the one I'll be using. So um, yeah, you just import the custom music of your choice. And then once you have that imported, make sure you change your project rate to 32,000. Now, it is not necessary to do this. However, it does make your custom music file a lot smaller. So, you know, just a little fun fact back there. Anyways, once you have that configured, just go to the arrow right here and then change the time format to samples. Now, the reason why we did this is because this would show us the value of our starting loop and bra crate. Anyways, a quick tutorial on how to use Audacity tools. If you want to zoom in, just use control and then your mouse wheel. If you don't have a mouse wheel, you can just use control one to zoom in and then control three to zoom out. And then if you want to expand this whole thing to across the screen, you can use Control F. And then if you want to zoom, if, and then if you want to scroll horizontally, just use Shift and then your mouse wheel or your mouse pad. Oh yeah, and then if you want to cut the track, just use Control I. And if you want to remove this line, just click on it. And um, before you start looking for a looping point for your music, just make sure you already you already listen to the whole track because the more you listen to it, the better spots you can find. And you want to find two spots, one for the beginning loop and one for the ending, which in my case, I already did, which is this part of here. This will be the beginning looping point. And this part of here, which, be, which will be the ending loop. So um, yeah, as you guys can see, they sound pretty much identical to each other. By the way, if you're still struggling to find a looping point for your music, what you can do is zoom in into the waveforms and try to look for a pattern. And then make sure that the beginning looping point matches the same as the ending looping point. And that way you can have a perfect seamlessly loop. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's get started with the tutorial. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the ending looping point of your music, which in my case, mine's over here. And then try to find a perfect spot to loop your, do your ending looping point. So normally what I would do is I try to find a spike between the lower waveforms and the high waveforms. So notice how this one's low and then all of a sudden this one gets high. So yeah, so I'm just going to cut this part out by doing control I and I'm just going to zoom back out. And then I'm just going to copy this for temporarily stuff and then go back to your beginning looping point, which my, which in my case is right over here, I believe. Yeah. All right. So notice how this waveform is, looks pretty much identical to the ending one. Now, the reason why I copied the ending, the ending part is to see if the waveforms match together. So I'm just going to paste this and do control Z. So, um, yeah, as, as you guys, so yeah, as you guys can see, they match together. They, um, look familiar. So I'm just going to set the beginning looping point over this line over here. And just, to, and just to prove to you guys that it does transition perfectly, I'm just going to paste this again. And there you have it. So I'm just going to do Control Z to remove the pasting. We're almost done with the tutorial, by the way. So, um, yeah, um, the next thing you're going to want to do is, is click on a blank space over here and then do Control C or go to edit and then copy it. And then go over here, click on over here and then paste it, you know, by or just do, you know, paste over here. And now just click on mute over here to mute the first track. And then what we're going to do is just delete the ending part to where um, the line ends. So it's just going to delete that part. And the reason why we have this track is just in case you want to like re-edit the, the looping and all that shenanigans. You have this track to, um you know, to back you up and whatever. Also because um, we can perfectly align the cursor with the black line. So that's what we have. That's why we have two tracks, but it's not really necessary to do this. Well, actually it kind of is because you want to align your cursor to the black line as close as possible. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah. 
once you have that configured just once you have that part deleted just go over here file export and then export it as wav and then just export it to wherever folder you want to export and then click on save and then click on ok and then once you have that file exported just open up broad crate again and then click on file new brstm audio stream and open up your audio and um make sure your cursor is aligned perfectly to the black line to the first to the first black line over here and then copy this number to where it says start In my case is one two seven three one seven nine enter and um let's test this to see if it's loop perfectly all right so notice how this didn't work fine um most of the time whenever you do export your audio to from audacity the value for the ending should be um good enough but for some reason mine didn't work so i had to change that as well so i'm just gonna align my cursor to this second black line and then copy that number over here two three two nine one eight six and then the music should be looped fine and there you have it so i'm just gonna click on ok because i'm satisfied with my looping and yeah that's pretty much about it that's how you loop your music for um your music pack or whatever you're trying to do with your music and as for the people who are using looping the audio converter just you know add the music that you exported i'm gonna put my music to desktop and pretty much just hit the loop options as ask for non-looping files and put all channels in one file and then once you have that configured just make sure that your cursor is aligned perfectly to the first black line and then click on start and then just copy the numbers over here and then one two seven three one seven nine enter and then set the cursor to the second black line and then change it to whatever numbers it says over here two three two nine one eight six gonna test to see if it works that does i'm just gonna click on okay and then it should be it should work fine and there you have it that's how you loop your music with the looping audio converter anyways thank you guys for watching this tutorial i hope this video i hope this video helped you guys a lot and a little fact about this background music is that unfortunately the creator of this music died from lung cancer and you know to honor him i decided to use this background music for this video and may he rest in peace and farewell We want to go to versus samples and then i don't know <laughs> and then once you got that done you want to go over here and if you don't have a mouse you can use your your plus wait what was it not how do you zoom in what okay well what I don't even know how to zoom in without a mouse. Control C or, you know, just go over here and then, or just go over here. Wait, where's the control? Oh, it's right here. We're almost done with the tutorial, by the way. <laughs> My voice crack. And then once you test your music, it should be looped perfectly fine. Um, 